Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. We are in Poplar Bluff, Missouri with, um, with my family. We're saying this is their house. Um, so I think the last you saw us when we were in Miami. Yeah. Uh, we just had Christmas, very late Christmas. Um, and today, since there's not a lot to do around here, we thought it would be fun to do some home cooking. Yeah, we've actually been, we've taken a couple weeks off. Um, just to chill and not really record anything during Christmas. But as you can see, the snow has come and uh, it's it is much so different than the weather we were experiencing cold. in Miami. But today we're actually doing something pretty special in this video. We are partnering with Skillshare. If you haven't heard of it, uh, Skillshare is a platform where you can uh, learn from other people. They post videos and tutorials and projects about culinary related things, about filming, photography, other tech type of stuff, pretty much anything you can imagine. Yes, all the things. Um, and we're huge fans of this site. We're actually going to be using it today mm -hmm. um, to create a pizza. Pizza! You guys know that I love cooking and that's all I've been doing since I've been back at my parents. They have a lovely large kitchen and all the pots and pans and seasonings and mm. choppers and blitzers and yeah. all the things. The way the site works is you don't pay per video, you buy uh, a subscription and then you can watch all the videos that you want, which is really cool because that means you can pretty much learn anything you want to about anything. So we might actually look at some other videos today. Oh like, yeah, make yeah. some other delicious recipes. But we're freezing out here, so we're gonna hop in the car and we're gonna head to the store and buy the ingredients for the recipe we're going Our to delicious, make. Delicious, delicious pizzas. We are babysitting our niece and nephew today, so they're gonna come with us to the store. Hey! Hey guys! <laughs> Say hi to the vlog! Yo, hi, hi vlog! Alright, and the most important thing for this recipe is the instant yeast. I came here last night because one of you have to like mix some stuff the night before and let it sit for like 10 to 24 hours. I didn't get the instant yeast, so I'm hoping that's not gonna mess up our recipe, but we'll see. So now we're rectifying it. back home we are ready to start cooking but I think we're gonna slip into something a little bit more comfortable well that's not right all right let's go cook some pizza we've got all of our ingredients here we've got over here some fresh kale that we picked up we've got some meat some pepperoni and some prosciutto we go a little block of cheese and some other okay. cheese we're gonna kind of make a and blend in this stuff too then we got a couple cans of whole tomatoes, the yeast we showed you guys earlier, flour, and garlic. You're gonna transform this into a beautiful pizza. It's gonna be amazing. And look, you guys. So the first step was making the what they call the preferment, I believe. And it looks like it worked, even though I accidentally used the active dry instead of the instant yeast. So I just gave it a little sugar in there and added a little bit more of this. And this is what it's supposed to look like. All the bubbles means that the yeast is alive and doing stuff. Yeah, it's kind of creepy and it smells really funky. Yeah. Apparently that's good. It smells like really sour sourdough. But this is what's gonna make the pizza. Supposedly, Ew, it's so sticky looking. So the class that we're doing is Italian Chef Secrets, how to make the perfect thin crust pizza. Now they have a ton of these courses all over Skillshare, culinary courses and a bunch of other courses, but this is what we decided on because we thought it'd be the funnest thing yeah. to do. Yeah, and I think it might also be one of the hardest, but that's also okay, it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> nice. Look at that, ew. Is that pretty much the right texture? I think so, it looks a lot like what his did. Look, it's like really, Slimy in there. Oh boy, <laughs> that's pretty gross. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. This looks like a proper cooking show. So I mix together. Oh gosh, you guys, I wish you could feel this. It feels like gack or something. It's like got all these air bubbles in it. Like the video. Yeah, it looks like what he's doing. Well, we had our first mishap of the day. 
We just dumped that flour all over this can. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Hopefully it didn't get in any cracks or holes. I think it'll be fine. They're pretty okay. resilient. So I just realized that I could do this by hand, but it's gonna take, I think like 20 or 30 minutes. So we're gonna default to the good old KitchenAid. I'm gonna move it all in there and let that do the work. Cause I think it'll take half the time. Whoa. <laughs> That's so exciting. I hope this is the right paddle. It's kind of just getting clumped up in a ball right there. This is our first time using one of these. So I'm sure if any of you know how to use this, you're probably just laughing at us right now. <laughs> All right, we decided to switch to this guy. Trusty hook. How are you feeling about it? I think it's working better. <laughs> I think it just needs some time. Yeah, that's, I think that's doing the trick. Chef Eric approves. The aroma of this dough is amazing. It kind of smells like a brewery. It's really making me want to have a beer. <laughs> oh yeah. You can smell the yeast really good. emanating. Uh, when do you guys make things? Does your KitchenAid bounce around like this? Oh, yeah. Megan is a little nervous. I think it's working though. Yeah, it seems to be doing it, but it seems very aggressive. <laughs> there we go. Nice job. She's a beaut. Took a long time, but we did it. That's gonna be a pizza right there. It's gonna it feels be right. mini pizzas. So we've portioned our guys out into perfect pizza pie pieces. Now we're supposed to roll them into dough balls. Then I think we let them sit for a bit. But look at us, we were really nervous. Our dough was really sticky for a long time. I think we didn't have enough flour in there. And then I think maybe we were doing it on too low of a setting, but it all came together in the end. Skillshare is actually having a sweet special, I think just for the month of January, where you get three months for 99 cents, which is pretty bananas. So if you're watching this in January, get on it and get your membership. And we will have a link in the description below so you can do that easily. Rolling in the bows, those the pizza bows. So we just made our lovely little dough balls, but now we have to let them sit for an hour. So we have some time to kill, and I think I know just what to do. found a tutorial to make a couple old fashions. These are our favorite cocktails. Yes. We'll see how they turned out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that's really Perfect, good. Perfect, I'd say. Wow. We put like half as much sugar as the recipe called for, and I think that was a good call. I definitely agree. Yeah, really strong though. Yeah. <laughs> this will do the trick. Gonna take care of that hour now. Yeah. What do you call this dance move? I don't know what it's called. I'm not yeah, hip enough to know this stuff. Katie it's Berry, like, that Katy Perry yeah. concert. How do you go over to this side? You do this. And then you switch over like that. Oh, it's really right. hard. It's like... <laughs> Learn from the master. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guys, look who showed up. Mr. What up? Matt Boyd. How's it going? When was the last time you were on the vlog? I can't even remember. It's been a long time. It'll be a year, at least. It'll I think he's, he's going to test our pizza after it's done. And I think he's going to make himself an old-fashioned. We're going to show him how to do it. Yes. Taste test time. Any good? Ooh, so good. It's the bitters that make it. I'm telling you, that's the key to the old fashioned. All right, so these little lovelies have been sitting for about an hour, and now we're actually gonna roll them, which our guy even says is usually not what you do with pizza, you do it all by hand, but he claims that it's the best way to do it. So since they're thin crust, we're gonna try it. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. It's kind of fun. Something satisfying about rolling out this dough. Well, that one was like a perfect circle, but look at this, this one's all gnarled. Yeah, that's okay, it's got some character. Yeah. All right, now we are making our pizza sauce and they say to take a can of whole tomatoes. They said specifically the San Marzano style. It's supposed to be really good. I think it's just cause it's fire roasted, so it adds extra flavor. But we're gonna blend her up and then you strain it to make sure there aren't too many chunky pieces because apparently it'll weigh down your dough because it's so thin. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that it turns out all right. Matt's Pretty gonna 
sauce his own pizza. He's been watching Allison do it. He's been learning from the pro. Yeah, he's getting sauced over here. Kind of nervous. This is the shape of you can't. You, you gotta go at an angle. Here we go. We're going in. <laughs> We're going in. Matt, We're going in. just get We're your going. sauce. You might have to pour the okay, sauce maybe I'll, out. I'll pour you some sauce. Okay, put your ladle over uh, here. Ladle, all right. All right, so right in the middle and then We're you right swirl the it around? Yep. Put a pile in the middle. Right? Pile. All right, we'll pile it up. Gomer, pile it up. Gomer. Ooh, this looks good. You know what I'm saying? This whole technique, guys, I've been like studying the guy on the video, <laughs> trying to get it right. So you're supposed to kind of like slowly push, push all this globs of sauce out to the edge. We've got our pizzas all sauced up, now we're going to add the toppings. pizzas are done and I gotta be honest with you guys these turned out more amazing than I ever thought that they yeah, would these was, look so legit I was a little nervous because we didn't have all the proper like the pizza stones or whatever they they talked about like appropriate pizza wear yeah. in the video and we did so we just it. put them on all these pans but they turned out <laughs> fine they're not like blackened or crispy or like burnt a little bit but they look amazing. I think they're gonna be good yeah give it a try so you went with um I did half pepperoni Half prosciutto and all kale. Mm-hmm. You guys, that tastes like pizza. I think we freaking <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it. Woo! The pizza tastes like pizza. It tastes like pizza. <laughs> Are you happy with your decision to go with I'm kale? I'm very happy. Yeah. Mine's pretty similar, but I went with, uh, we had some other kind of kale. We had baby kale, which I put on mine and then big chunks of mozzarella here, and then some pepperonis that are beneath it, and That's a bunch of little cheese sprinkled awesome. on. It looks amazing, okay? It looks so good. And then Matt went with kind of a simpler approach. Uh, yours is just mozzarella, and uh, did you put any pepperoni on yours? I did no, no pepperoni, I just, just yeah. did straight, uh, you know, just the veggie route. And I did oregano, and that was it. Adam did a pizza pretty similar to mine. I think the only difference is I sprinkled more cheese on mine. P.S., in case you guys didn't know, Adam is my brother. I, um, Obviously with the red hair. We realized we didn't give him like a proper intro, yes. but he's been on the vlog before, so that's why. Yeah, but we've but got a lot of new subscribers, so I think yeah. a lot of people haven't seen him. So yeah. introduce yourself, Adam. I'm Adam. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I am so excited to try this pizza. I don't know if it's just because I'm a couple drinks in, a couple old fashions in at this point, but I'm just so excited about it. <laughs> It's like, has not let us down today. Yeah, it's, it's worked out well. So the crust is um, really crunchy and then it's a little bit gooey in the middle, which I think is uh, about right. Yeah, right? That is fly. We put like the sprinkling of salt on it before we cooked it. I think that was key. And we also, the video showed us that you should drizzle some oil in the um, tomato sauce before you cook it. And it keeps the tomato sauce nice and moist. Man, it's just like a delicious pepperoni mozzarella cheese, cheese pizza. Like you can taste all the flavors and it's great. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did making the pizzas today. It yeah. was. I it know was, it was kind of a chill video, but we really didn't have that much else to do. So we figured it'd be kind of fun. Yeah, but my family really enjoyed it. They loved the pizzas. They Dude, those get, pizzas really were they amazing. Were so I was so proud good. of us. We had a great time. I really enjoyed using the KitchenAid and everything and learning how to make pizza dough from scratch. We've never done that before. It was amazing. I think Eric's going to serenade me one more time. Guys, I love coming home because I get to play my guitar because I Which, can't bring it on the road. He looks like this. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.